Welcome 3D printing enthusiasts. Tostatronic presents in this installment the leveling of the base and bed of the Ender 3 V2 3D printer. We start from the premise that Creality offers us excellent quality control, however it is important to ensure that our printers are perfectly aligned from the base. To begin we must be located on a firm and flat surface, in my case I resorted to the kitchen cover that is regular and robust enough. If there is no other alternative, you can do it on the floor. Let's check the base of the printer, just produce movement at each corner. As seen in the video, the four rubber feet of the ender do not make contact with the granite plate evenly. The 4040 profiles of the base are joined by a central axis, also in aluminum 4040, connected with four screws per side. To align the base, please loosen the four screws on each side. Turn each screw just a couple of turns to allow for adjustment. The easiest way to stabilize the base is to apply pressure to it with our hands. Hold on and reload your weight tightly, in the center and at the four corners of the base. Check that there is even contact of the four rubbers on the surface and that any movement has been eliminated. Tighten the eight side screws firmly. Again check that there is even contact of the four rubbers on the surface.
we proceed to review the printing bed, please manipulate each of the corners of the base, as shown in the video. The bed must not present vibration or play. Then the procedure to adjust the wheels of the Y-axis. Ender printers fasten the bed base to the central axis by means of four wheels. The wheels on the right, looking at their printer from the front, have two eccentric nuts with which we can adjust the pressure to eliminate any possible movement or vibration of the bed. We recommend removing the heated bed to facilitate adjustments, remove the four knobs on the bottom of it, Between the bed and the support are the springs that provide cushioning. Remove the bed carefully, upwards, not forgetting that it includes the glass and that a spring remains in the connector. Movement can be seen more clearly at the base of the bed. Lay your ender printer on its side, run across the base of the bed to the front, and remove the drawer. Using the spanner, hold the nut at the base of the bed to loosen the screw. Be careful not to make more than one turn. The adjustment is provided by the eccentric nut. Turn with the open end wrench, as shown. You must generate the adjustment by turning the nut little by little. Retighten the screw and check if there is still movement at the base of the bed. Repeat the operation until the desired result is obtained. This setting procedure is very similar on Ender 3, Ender 3 Pro printers and of course the Ender 3 V2.
In this way we verify that there is no type of play at the base of the bed and that the tension in the axle band allows smooth movement without offering resistance. We continue the process of assembling the bed in the base. Finally we review all the adjustments and tensioners. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share, I am Dato Poderoso. Hasta la vista.